Hey everyone, it's me Taki Submit to you here, and for today's video, we are gonna mess up some big Smash Brothers news to cover for today's video because just recently, now as I'm recording this video, I am currently making this after the Nintendo Dart E3 showcase because in the beginning of the presentation, they have just announced a reveal of who exactly DLC Fighter 10 would be as part of the second Fighter's Pass for Smash Brothers Ultimate, and this character was actually unexpected. When I was making my predictions list, I was thinking of a character that was either gonna be from a third party company, a first party company most likely nintendo or someone that is unexpected that no one was able to predict or talk about and it turns out this character and i was right about the first and third part because our next dlc fighter for fighters pass volume 2 would be Kazuya Mishima from Tekken. That's right, Tekken is now getting a fighter representative in Smash Ultimate. I just cannot believe it. Not only is Tekken now getting a fighter representative, we also this Tekken is also the fourth fighting genre game to be part of Smash Bros. Ultimate right after Street Fighter, Fatal Fury slash King of Fighters, and ARMS. So this is actually great. We got four fighting genres in a Smash Bros. Ultimate game. So this is really amazing. And you may I think that this name sounds a bit similar by the name of Mishima. That's because Kazuya Mishima is actually related to Heiachi. So technically, we did have a Mishima, and even though Heiachi is not a playable character in the trailer, Heiachi does make a cameo. But after all, it is really surprising that Tekken was actually going to get a character representative because we all thought that Tekken was done for after Heiachi became a Mii costume. But there was still more hope for Jin Kazuma to be a character, but instead, we got a another character that was from Tekken so this is really great to see after all but not only is Tekken the fourth character the fourth fighting game genre to be part of Smash Bros Ultimate but Kazuya is actually our second Bandai Namco rep that's right it is it's about time that we finally get a second Bandai Namco rep after Pac-Man it, it took so many it took long enough for another character to be from Bandai Namco we all thought it was going to be I don't know Lloyd Irvin from Tales of series or Nightmare from Soul Calibur or Kolonoa from the Kolonoa series, but instead it is a Tekken character. And you know what? I'm not honestly complaining. Another fighting game, game, another fighting game in a Smash Bros. Ultimate is really, really something. And now that I think about it, after the present, after this reveal, it was confirmed that Sakurai will be having a Sakurai Presents starting on June 28, 2021, started at 7 a.m. specific time or depending on your time zone, 10 a.m. Eastern time, where Masio Sakurai will be presented the movie set and stage and other content from Tekken featuring Kaz Kazuya himself so we get to see it and we already get, did get to see a bit of, a, of the move set but we want to see which how it works like is one of his move set part of the neutral special or a side smash who knows but after all this character is amazing we got ourselves a fourth character from a fighting game and also a second Bandai Namco rep so this is a really amazing thing for Smash Brothers to have and we now have one more fighter left to show but really guys let me know what you thought guys in the comment section below of Kazuya from Tekken being part of the second Fighters Pass for Smash Bros. Ultimate are you guys excited or do you think another character would be deserving I'm not really mad if Crash wasn't in the game or either Sora because you know what I'm not complaining Kazuya is surely unexpected and I'm happy with that but with that let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so with that leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos I'll see you guys next time and also follow my Twitter and remember this once a legend always a legend like a hell cut. <laughs>